Okay, students. So let us see what is there in this question. A stone attached to a string is moving in a, a horizontal circle. Horizontal circle specifically means that we can neglect the effect of gravity, by the way, okay, because it is acting at all the points. The constant speed of the stone is V. The constant speed of stone is V. The diagram below shows the stone in two different positions, that is X and Y. Okay, anyways, let us see. Uh, these are the two positions. Okay, fine. And they have said that the stone is moving at the constant speed. Very good. Which of the following shows the direction of change of a velocity of the stone when moving from the position X to position Y? So we need to find the change of velocity. My dear students, please be careful about the terms that we are using here. Earlier, the question says that the, that the uh, ball or the stone is moving at constant speed. And now he is asking you, the, que the question is about change in velocity. So now he's not talking about the change in speed. Speed has not changed at all. But the velocity has changed because velocity is a vector and the direction of the stone has changed. That is why the velocity has changed. So we need to find the change in velocity. It means we are supposed to find delta v vector. How to do that? So we will say v2 vector minus v1 vector. This is change in vector. You can say v final and v initial okay so final velocity final velocity is this and this is the initial velocity but how do we do this now we have learned in couple of other questions how to subtract two vectors so first of all we will redraw the two vectors in such a way that they are connected to each other with their tails not with the head so this is the final uh, velocity vector i have drawn i am writing it vf this is the initial point and V initial will be this. This is V initial. So it is initial is ending at this point and final is this. So when we subtract the two vectors graphically, so what we do is we draw another vector like this, like the vector that starts from the head of VI and it will be ending at the head of final velocity vector. So it will be taken like this. I hope I am clear. This is how we subtract two vectors. We just um, redraw the diagram with the condition that both of the vectors should be touching each other with their tails. And then what we do is we see here <clears throat> what is initial and what is final so we move from initial to final we move from initial to final so this is how we move so this will be the vector that will be uh, we can say change in velocity vector so out of the followings let us see a b c d out of the following the answer should be d and let us verify it from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer is D. We are absolutely correct. So this is the graphical method of subtraction. By joining the two vectors at tails, we connect the this diagonal or the third side of the triangle will give you the subtraction. So if you have any problem with this, please do let me know in the comment section. All the best.